Hello and welcome back to Dungeon of Nihilbu. I will never say it properly. I will never stop stuttering while trying to say it. And I just made another, another round. I visited this. Where am I? Oh, I visited. I visited the bathroom that the elf was locked in. And what I found, found there was this. This brochure signs the praises of a small beach resort, the lovely Innsmouth. Seems like an seems like the ideal place to go fish gazing and scuba diving. Yep. And yep. It was smelly. Uh, nothing to worry about. Now we can finally go and save the dwarf again. I can tell you I, I we won't be good friends with him. It's just not possible. And there's a lift, but we won't use it yet. Maybe later. Let's find the guy first. Second chapter. A beer, two curses, three companions. After a pretty erratic start in the dungeon of Nahilbuk, our adventurers end up in a rather strange bar, with a thirst for fresh glory and honorable ale. Or is it the other way around? Yep, it's an actual tavern. Open to the public. <laughs> Crazy. This dungeon is so weird. We should ask around. Maybe someone's seen the dwarf. Remind me why we would want to look for him. Because in our party, no one gets left behind. You can already tell he's lying. Who are you? Hi. Uh, hello? Looking for a dwarf? Yep. Maybe. Nope. Now which one do I listen to? The scruffy half pint or the dimwit and flip-flops here? Indeed. We have a dwarf companion. He's gone missing. I've been hired to find a dwarf. Maybe it's the same guy. I'd be surprised we just got here. Never mind that. Who hired you? The dungeon master? As if. Was the co-op running this dungeon? There's an evil dwarf stealing stuff, mostly gold and ale. They want him dead. A co-op. This just keeps getting weirder. And what's this about an evil dwarf? Ours isn't evil. Let's yes. forget this weirdo and our rants about dwarves. Spin your head, salad brains. I like a breeze. Now shut up, everybody. You all help me take him down and we'll split the loot. It's tempting, but we're really, you know, busy. Yeah, just admit you're chicken. Forgot your butt bravery and your other pair of pants. I remembered everything. We even have a lighter. In any case, this could be interesting. Might be linked to our dwarf. Uh, why do you say our dwarf? He's not mine. I'm not sure we can trust her. This one seems to be a paladin of Judge Judy. Those guys only serve justice, thus they cannot lie. Okay, enough yapping, dumbasses. We'll set up an ambush in the basin room. It's in the west wing. Now move it. Hey, I'm the one who says that stuff. I'm the leader and... Ah, oh, shit. Um, what's this about a leader? You'll find some merchants in the tavern of this dungeon, but mostly that's where you can get some rest before jumping right back to adventuring. Resting heals all your health points and your character's injuries for a price. This price gets steeper with every chapter. Okay, so let's talk to people first. Wash me a lot of sweat. Uh, buy me a drink. That should wash it off. That will make it worse. Forget it, you're drunk. Fuck off, you bougie bastard! There's always that three minute mark when they start cursing. I love it. <laughs> Hello, what's your order? Isn't this tavern kind of weird? Nahalbuk's Inn is renowned throughout the land of Fang. Our specialty is beer and bear stew. Come, I can have yum yum gurkies. Uh, statuette, um, bu buy me a drink and I'll tell you where they're hidden. He wants to know why his mouth smells like an old dustbin. Yeah, uh, yeah, um, uh, drink, um, obviously, uh, yeah, yeah, that one. What? <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, okay. Chat. I chat with him. Was it all? Dungeon for them is easy nice. Okay, so that's what we have to tell us. We must for 50. Yep. Why not? So 
maybe we should get home now. Let's see. There's oh, there's stuff behind him. Oh, there are three rooms we can look into. Doesn't want to check them out. What is that? It's open. Okay, so that's the kitchen. And then it is move. And it's just moving. Bookshelf. This shelf is missing some books. A small plaque above it reads really Orkish cuisine. With all the books of this collection, put them back in the bookshelf. Okay, we have or Ox Origins. Oh, so sad. Give me the sausage. Why? Okay. Hopefully they won't notice us stealing. Shrimpy way. Born from the delicate alliance of the ocean's finest protein source with the health benefits of Lorian's cocoa and covered with a surprising crust made from Rohan's, Rohan's milk. Shrimpy way is more than just chocolate. Ew. <laughs> okay, if I press tab, they stop. They just stop moving for the reason. Orgy Orgish cuisine, one of two. Let's read it. It is said that an Orgish apprentice baker of Glark had the fantastic idea to mix olive oil with bread dough. An ogre, if there ever was one. He then took it further by grabbing whatever living or dead thing he could find and squashing it on dough with his bare hands. This lead to the locution. Want me to beat that? Which evolved into the, his, his cut phrase. Beat that. Beat that. A linguistic phenomenon known as a lisp led to the word Isa. What's in there? Oh, so we now have bad. you. Skill tree. Uh, four points. So, of course, I'm gonna give you that. I'm gonna give you one of that. And one courage. Let's see that. Not enough points. Great. Anything else? We could try talking to them, but we don't want to. We just want to steal the things. I really do enjoy this game so far. Is that a trap? No. Crom hates riddles, except the riddle of steel. Oh, I can look at that. Lots, lots of lots of sticks. Lots of things we can check out. I love it. Okay, what do we have here? Really, I have to. Ugh. Barbarians are fierce warriors, women and men alike. Clad in loin cloths, boots and furs, they are tall, burly and not all that bright. They mostly hate magic, reading and books, but would use the latter as toilet paper. They value honor first and foremost. And let's see, oh, there are some things we can equip. If I only can find them. For the you. poor get poorer. Oh, equipment please. There you go. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I'm not sure we should. It's not ours. Be quiet, wench. And I can't move so for some reason. Oh, he's asleep over there. <laughs> okay, I can see one issue so far. That while trying, okay, there's still that place to visit. Okay, that while trying to see for items you can interact with, you have to completely stop. Hi, we're looking for a statuette. Why? You intend to steal from this place? No, no, that's not. Uh, we, we'd like a souvenir from the dungeon. Oh, right, a souvenir. Yes. That's right. We do have a gift shop now. Ask the shopkeeper about it. Move along now. Nothing to see here. Oh, 
Let's see. No name account. Looks like we stumbled onto some kind of administrative center. Hello. Are you here for your accounting balance? Sure. No, we are not. Oh. If you exert a commercial activity in the dungeon of Nahobuk, it must be notified to the co-op. What's this about a co-op? I was expecting there would be a dungeon master of some kind. There isn't. In lieu of your typical autocratic, unfounded system based on nepotism, we have a co-op self-managed by the dungeon's employees. Thus, executive decisions are made according to rules ratified by all employees on a two-thirds majority basis. Sounds very specific. And all activities are notified to the central administration to undergo a performance investigation and an accounting audit. He's a warlock. His mouth is spouting cursed gibberish. I think we'll let you get back to work. I agree with the barbarian. <laughs> really, there is some trouble with the input from the game. The Secrets of Chicken. This book belongs to collected works about the darkest secrets of chicken. It's covered with feathers and straw. Oh, very busy. To serve is to be in servitude, you know. What if I cut your feet off to make earrings? Got time for that? No need, my lord. I'm all ears. Good. We're looking for one of Gladifura's statuettes. Ever heard about those? Uh, can't say it rings a bell. No, I'm not really into statuettes. Useless trinkets collecting dust on the shelves. There used to be a lot of those on the second floor, but thankfully it's off limits now. Really? Why is that? No one knows. At any rate, statuettes are a servant's sworn enemy. Break one, and the MPCC will have you whipped. That what? Minions Punishment Cooperative Committee. The authority on all punishments dealt in the dungeon's co-op. Which reminds me, I really gotta go. Sorry. Crumb, I should drop his feet off anyway. You could. Why not? I can't see why that would be a thing. What books do you need here? Uh, the Barbarians. Okay, we are... We are doing that. Oh, and the chicken. I took the chicken. Give me the chicken. Uh, the secrets of a chicken. Chickens have the following characteristics. They can dodge your arrows thanks to their unique ability to bounce any everywhere, fluttering their wings and going cock 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 bridu or something. Males have the ability to wake you up too early, robbing you from the rest of rest you need to recover the health points lost in battle. Hmm, did you know? Now you do. Let's see what can be found around here, if anything. Another part. This place on cardboard. It's this way. No more dwarves here than there are pretzel sticks. Wow! Does that mean there are pretzel trees? We'll bait them out. We just need to set some gold or ale on this thing. Okay. I don't want to give my gold though. Good. Now we wait. Ready up your weapons and spells. It is our dwarf. I got the axe that strikes back. Durandil. Do -do 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 -do. Hey, finders keepers. I got tuk tuk buddy. Righto, buddy. He looks exactly like his evil twin. Hey, you bastards! You abandoned me here! Left me to die like a fly in Yakak Strong! What is he talking about? I don't know. Looks like he's dead. Oh, <gasps> maybe it's the amulet. A trick worthy of a coward. <clears throat> Deception is the better part of valor. Payback time. I'll rip your guts out with an oyster fork. Enough talk! Take him out! Do you think it'd be that easy? <laughs> Vengeance! Oh. I hope it will be that easy. Seriously? Seven of these dwarves now? And they all stink! Anyone calls me Snow White, they get a smack in the head! Why would they call it up? For you... And... You... Over here. You will go that way while... <laughs> you actually you can look at this. The seven dwarves shall have their revenge! Randomia, the demoness, has taken an interest in our group's fate. 
She often elects individuals who are intellectually challenged, particularly unlucky or incredibly reckless as recipients of her blessings. Thanks to her, you now have access to the random influence gold. The random influence gold fills up during battles with every unlucky event or failure. The unluckier characters are, the more the gold fills up. As it fills up, the gold will unlock four tiers, which can be used to ask fate for a leg up during the turn of one of your characters. When the gold is full, you can either use the ability of the last tier once, or use the ability of the first tier multiple times. Also, this gold is not empty at the end of the combat. You can save it for another battle. Be mindful of Andomia's influence. It could help you in the most desperate situations on the ground. Great, wonderful. Um, we should, should start shooting. Crossbow, evil dwarf, crossbow, crossbow. There are three that can shoot. She will deal with him. You can start dealing with him, I would say. Nicely. Now you. Wait, okay, so what's that? Unexpected life support heals or injures and gives health points. Regenerate sword. The character can't claim it, that gains an additional action point. Oh, that's nice. Now he has one injury, it's only two going to. Okay, let's give you that. Yes. So that you can go around here. To use up two points. And summon the hammer just to do the damage and stun the targets. Okay. You can already tell she is the paladin. Let's see. You go over here. And you smack him. Right in the face. Ha! You regret know. coming down here. Will I though? Will I? You're gonna be assist to him. Let's see. I can do that. You can always shoot, I guess. Uh, yeah. Be able to do anything important. Really. I could have used him to destroy the crate. Got them. I want to. Do I want to risk your life to do this? Yes. Yes, I do. Like this, we'll be able to backstab him. No, we won't. I lied. He's just flying. Oh, he stays. Uh. Everyone's after me, even our foes. Should I? Uh, yeah. It's not gonna work at all. Yep, nope. Not doing that. Should it? That's not. You could move like so, like this. So she's hidden. He overwatches. I may have done a very bad thing by spreading around so much. It's gonna get hit again, isn't he? Yep. Please dodge. <coughs> mm -hmm. Yep, he's down. <coughs> well, we will heal him. That's for sure. Can you shoot him? You can. Okay, let's not spread the damage out so much. Don't do that. So 
that he can do another thing. Go for the eyes! He just said go for the eyes, right? Uh, go for the eyes, boo! Okay, she triggers a post. Anything you say will bite you in the ass. And that's all we're gonna do. Now we feel you can't move. But you can hopefully crit. <laughs> no. Okay, that's fine. He sprinted over here. He sprinted over here. She'll heal him, the this guy. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> right, attack of opportunity. I forgot. Maybe if we hit oh, him no. enough, they'll give up. Like so. Oh, it was a sprint! God damn it. Good job. In your Part. dreams. Okay, I had no idea such thing existed. You need to move, but you're gonna get hit. You gotta do what you gotta do. And he missed. <laughs> he missed anyway. No, this guy is dead. Let's just get rid of him. Oh, I forgot about that. Typical archer. We need to start healing. Would have been worse. But then he is gonna hit her. Yep. Do I need to start healing? You can tell I'm horrible at <laughs> that. At this kind of games. Yes, I am. Really? No. You get over here to block him. Really? Oh, actually, you can just kill him. <laughs> that's good, that's very good. Attack of opportunity and you won't be able to hit him anyway. <laughs> so, he's done. Why can't you use that? Good dear, <laughs> okay, they're still alive. <laughs> That's what's important that they're still alive. That's better attack, that's a whole lot better of that attack. And he's out. Careful with the books! Who cares about the books now? It's no time. <laughs> You're fine. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Did you sleep well? Uh, yeah, I could have used the backstabbing tactics. <laughs> down now? Yep. Well, she's unconscious. Ah, oh, she didn't parry though. Wait, there's still one? <gasps> there's still that guy. Okay, but now we can move. You can move like so. You should make sure that you're still alive. You're so conscious. He's down. Yep. And he's hurt. 
damn it. Please. Nope, she's down. Serious. Okay, let's heal him. Tough it out! Uh, can we, we can make another action, even though we should be able to. You're fine. Now you can get over here. Now you can try killing him. It should work. Take that worm! Great. I'll come out of here. I don't have anything to do. I don't know if our thief can heal in someone else. Can you? Not really. Not with that. Sneaky. Do we need to sneak? Yeah, we will. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming, did you? I'm not looking at Really? I'm lost for words. Reminds me of potions class and that awful teacher with the greasy hair. You can heal her. Ew, potions taste icky. But they can heal you. Can bring you back from the dead. Oh, oh that's a sprint. Ah, I really can't tell what are they are to sprint on. Okay, the 76% to hit him and she did. Great. Oh, that hell massive leveled up. Nice strategy me. Oh, heal you, heal you, heal you, heal everyone. I was thirsty. Well, congrats, morons. Justice has been dealt. Didn't think you could pull your weight. Thought I'd just be using you as meat shields. Hey, that's mean. We could have been hurt. What a fucking mess! What the hell is going on? It's like going through a troll's latrine. I've been through the ringer! Ah, we must have lifted the curse by destroying those abominations. <laughs> That'll teach you not to pick up amulets. See? I wasn't bullshitting you. I must say, I misjudged you. Well, then maybe you'd like to team up. We're looking for a cursed statuette. Not right now. Gotta collect the bounty. I'll find you as soon as I have the gold. We'll talk about your statuette then. In the meantime, go to the VIP room at the inn. Always full of wizards and money bags. I like Wizard, that. huh? Do you think they could give us some intel? Never know if you don't ask, right? Worst case, they don't talk, you table stomp their faces in. Well, see you later with the loot, dorks. Hope she doesn't forget me. Us. I think she'll keep her word. Paladins can't go around breaking oaths, especially when they serve justice. What an awful life! How do they ever manage to stay true to their word? Yeah? Can you elaborate on that one? Later, maybe. Pinky swear. Look, the amulet is still on the ground. Let's go to this VIP room. Maybe there'll be poets and musicians. And some decent ale. We can plunder. We'll see about that, but try not to be so dense. Everyone ready? Let's go forth. You've got to be kidding me. Seriously? Okay, can you finally open that? No, still no. I think you need some kind of skill. Or maybe more strength. We can... Knock harder! Knock harder! No, not yet. How much experience do you need though? Just a little bit more. Okay, let's give you some more courage. And... As for that... What does... I've got plus 5 precision when you're shooting some of the defense, we're giving you that one. A long range shot that deals damage. That's all, oh, that's very nice. Dream case, a magic case that heals another at range. Great! How about a hug? I'm gonna give you that for now. 
Let's see. There's anything around here? Let's check out the map. There's one on the left. And since we have to go to the right... I don't know what we're gonna do. Because we're gonna go to the left first. Hello? Hey, Bokarov! We're busy! We? Who's we? Me and my astral double. I'm trying out fresh combat techniques. What strange weapons! So good. Not surprising for an arms room. What kind of techniques? Astral double perfect parries. I can dodge every attack thanks to my ethereal double's perception. So, you're skilled in wizardry then? I'm well above all that. What I'm doing is called innovative sensory disruption. So you wave your arms around and act all high and mighty? Nothing can touch me, even high level attacks. Try me, and behold! No. Haha, <laughs> nice work, bud. You got him good. And how? Let's take it from him. There's some pretty mood. I don't have charismatic leadership. Great. There's something. Okay. And once again, intellect triumphs. The ogre leveled up. Yay! Maybe we'll finally I'll able to... supervise the opening. Okay, well, okay, okay. We can finally be able to learn this how to learn how to open the doors. Okay, but that is gonna be it for today. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!